Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Masters of the Universe Classics Buzzsaw Hordak from Mattel. That's right, it's another vintage variant straight out of the original line brought into classic style. And honestly, this is one I wasn't sure if we would really get just because there's not a whole lot different on this guy from the standard Hordak. But here he is, so let's go ahead and take a look at him and see exactly how he differs from that other figure. As you can see, he comes in the same style Masters of the Universe Classics blister card packaging, fully showcasing the figure within, complete with that evil Horde insignia sticker right there on the front. And the back of that box shows us a selection of other figures in the Classics line, as well as gives us a brand new bio for Buzzsaw Hordak. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy outside of the box so we can take a closer look at him here. Now, much of this figure is going to be the same thing that we saw on the standard Hordak, which was released way back in like the first year of the Classics toy line. And if you guys had the vintage Buzzsaw Hordak action figure, you might remember that there wasn't a whole lot different with that guy as far as the way he looks. A lot of the variants in the vintage toy line always had very different looks in their costumes, but not Buzzsaw Hordak. He looked the same, he had the same colors, the only difference was his opening chest action feature that had that buzzsaw inside of it. Which is part of the reason why I never really knew if this was a necessary variant in the Classics line, but I guess if we're trying to complete that vintage era lineup in the new Classics line, you gotta do this guy. And here he is. The sculpt of the head, the arms, and the legs all come off of the previous Hordak figure. And we've had a couple Hordak figures, all of which have utilized this exact same head sculpt before. When looking at the figure, you will notice that he is still in that same color motif where he's got the black armor and gloves and boots and the gray skin, just like the vintage toy. However, he is slightly different than what we saw with the other Hordak. Some of those differences include the bone pieces around the collar that he's wearing on his head. They're now done in a glossy black instead of that more silver color that we saw before. Same with all of those pieces that are going around the trimmings of his armor. All of that, again, is done in a glossy black. Also looking down towards the bottom half of the figure here, the belt is now done in a metallic silver instead of kind of a dirty gunmetal silver like before. And the boots, while still the same sculpt, again reflect that glossy black instead of that more kind of silvery uh, gunmetal color that we saw on the other version of Hordak. So, while the costume itself is very similar, there are some differences in the colors. The red cape on his back is also a much brighter red. It's less dirty looking than the cape we got on that original Hordak. Uh, the left arm does have that evil Horde armband that we've seen on several of the other figures. I do want to kind of note that it appears as if this one is non-removable. Uh, the Horde armband has always been a removable piece, even dating back to that original Hordak, but on this one, it's glued in place. This thing is not moving. I mean, this thing is locked on there. Um, so I don't know if it, it, it appears to be glued to me. I mean, this thing is very, very stuck. It is not coming off. Now the main difference on this guy is going to be the torso. You'll notice on here, it is a bit noticeable just by looking at him, that the entire torso is a brand new piece on this guy. And instead of having the removable armor like we had in the past, it is all part of the sculpt. That is because his action feature has the ability to open his chest to reveal the buzzsaw inside, which works just like this. Basically, you grab the top of the bat wings, you pull the chest armor down, and it reveals the little buzzsaw on the inside. Now we can just pull this out. It's a little separate accessory. You can see it's done in just kind of a goldish color plastic. Um, there's actually a little handle in the middle, which is kind of neat, because he can hold on to the buzzsaw as a weapon, so if you want him to use it that way. But other than that, it just kind of sits in his chest. Uh, just kind of sits there, and you can close it up or open it up. Now the vintage toy had an action feature where it shot the buzzsaw out, but since we don't have actual action features on the classics line it just kind of mimics the old feature by having the opening chest with the buzzsaw on the inside now this is kind of neat it makes sense for a character like hordak who is a very robotic kind of guy and kind of changes shape and has all these weapons as we saw in the filmation cartoon series and it's kind of nice that mattel did give us a brand new torso here that's got an opening chest cavity but I'm going to bring this up because you guys might remember in my Rio Blast review, 
I really was disappointed with that figure because he didn't have an opening chest cavity to house his gun. On that figure, they opted to give him just a standard piece of body armor with a weird plug-and-play thing where you just pull down the flap and plug on the gun, and it doesn't work good, and the flap doesn't close all the way. And now this Hordak variant gets the opening chest cavity. So, while I'm glad that they did Hordak the right way, it does bum me out even more that Rio Blast was not done this way. All right, let's go ahead and talk articulation on Buzzsaw Hordak. Now, since most of the figure is pretty basic, you gotta know what to expect with this guy. That head is on a ball joint, so you can make it look left, right, slightly up and down. Just like with the other Hordak, the collar is going to hinder the movement just a bit, but the head is removable, so we can always pop that off if we wanted to. We can remove the collar and the hood uh, cape, which is all attached as one piece. Now, I will point out that it's a little loose and a little bobbly. You can see I can bobble it around. The head also has a bit of a bobble happening with it, um, so it's not as tight as I'd like to see it. I haven't seen that in a while. The shoulders just have the standard ball joints, so the arms can go outwards, forwards, backwards. You got swivels at the biceps, standard joint at the elbow. You got swivels at the wrist. Now, since his torso is a whole new piece with that opening mechanism, we do not have ab crunch articulation. He does still swivel at the waist, however. You've got the standard ball joints at the thighs there, so legs can go outwards. They can move forwards and backwards. He does have that shorter loincloth on this figure, so instead of the long one like we saw before, so this one is kind of more vintage figure style, I guess. Um, you can still swivel them at the thighs there, and of course that loincloth doesn't get in the way of any of the motions in the legs. You got single joints at the knees, you got swivels at the boots, and you got your nice ankle joints, which are tight on this guy. You can see that? They really kind of clip in place, they lock in place, so no loose ankles, which is very nice. So, for the most part, very standard articulation. Now, aside from the buzzsaw mechanism, he comes with one accessory, being the Horde crossbow done in white. Uh, this is a really nice touch because the vintage Hordak figure had a white crossbow. The original Hordak release did not have a white crossbow in the Classics line. It was more black in color. And while we were given a white one eventually in a weapons pack, if you never pick that up, now you've got a white crossbow for your Hordak, which is very cool and can be held in either one of his hands. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at the brand new Buzzsaw Hordak action figure standing alongside his vintage figure counterpart. And just so we can see those differences I was talking about, here he is standing alongside the first Hordak release in the Classics line. And how about a whole Hordak party? Here's all of our Hordak variants in the line. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at Buzzsaw Hordak. This is going to be the quarterly figure in the Club Eternia 2015 subscription. And he's a figure that's going to help complete that vintage lineup, but I still kind of question whether he was super necessary. I mean, he's not really a variant that I specifically needed, but he's still nicely done nonetheless. I do like that they went and gave him that opening chest, which is something that the figure really needed in order to actually kind of give us a bit of that vintage action feature without actually giving us the launching action feature. I do just really wish that the real blast had that same opening chest mechanism. But otherwise, he's another Hordak to add to your collection. At least you do get a nice white crossbow. If you missed out on the original Hordak, this is a nice stand-in for you. So as I stated, Buzzsaw Hordak is part of the Club Eternia subscription and will be available on MattyCollector.com on Monday, August 17th. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.